morning everybody dave in kentucky got some coffee i think i said brazil last time this is bolivian coffee anyway i have a very interesting razor to use today let me just give you a little information about it <clears throat> from uh, weights compendium it's the Bedford razor. I saw this one pop up on uh, eBay and kind of was watching it because I've never seen one of these before and it looked interesting. Um, made by Bed Bedford Safety Razor Company in Massachusetts, Bedford, Massachusetts. Um, trademark was first used for safety razors in uh, 1911. It was filed in 1912. So it's a single edge with a comb guard adjustable head angle uh, the razor folds and the handle telescopes to fit in a three and a half by one and a quarter by three quarter inch thick case uh, advertised as late as 1918 so it must have gone off the map uh, uh, in just six years so anyway so here's some pictures of it in weights you can see it down on the bottom there uh, this one here all the pictures look very similar, almost the same, but uh, there's the case, as it mentioned there, a very small case, opens unusually, have the, uh, oops, <laughs> it actually has some of the original blades if you lift up this thing, uh, and that's how the razor sits in there. It's all together, the handle's connected. Let me just set that there. So there you have it. And when I got this, I was like, okay. Fortunately, I'm a little bit mechanically inclined. I could figure it out. It's a uh, silver, <laughs> silver plated. Um, I assume brass. Um, the only way to get the the blade slides in under this this bar here from the front and the only way I found to get that up easily is you put your fingers underneath underneath here and hold the comb and uh, and lift it up yeah, it's hard to even show you anyway like that and slide it in <clears throat> so um, it did have a rusty original blade in it and I despined a gem and I had to take off some off the back, I had to take some off of the side in order to make it the size that would fit in here. So let's see, I'm not going to be able to show you on camera getting the blade in uh, because uh, it is fiddly. Maybe that's why it didn't last but six years. But we will get this in here regardless we can do it without slicing our finger okay i've got both sides in it now if i can just you know what? Let me adjust this handle so that it isn't an issue with it trying to hold that up. Let me look if that looks fairly straight. I had done this off camera to save you the aggravation and time, but uh, how would I have shown it to you then? Okay, so got it in underneath there. And I've not shaved with it yet. I have no idea how this is going to go. Could go very, very badly. Ah, new addition to the den, slowly adding some things. Got a Krona with a Schick shave. All you feel is good. Thermometer, so now you know what the temperature is in here. We keep it cool at night and you know, kick that up 
as we get to moving around. Anyway, so as you see, this thing pivots as a thumb screw to tighten at the angle you want. But how do you keep this thing here? Well, this uh, telescoping handle goes up, and then there's a little nub here. You turn, and then it can't slide up that, uh, that groove anymore. So that holds it in place. Then, whoops, that thumb screw came off. That's, that can't be good. <laughs> Backed it off too much, I guess. Let's not lose the little spring there. Okay, so then I'm just going to hold it pretty much straight. Tighten that on. It must have kept on threading while I was fighting to get the blade on there. And so there you have the razor. Let me wet the face. We're going to use Holy Cow La Fougere Parfait. And of course that is a nice dupe on Brute. So we have the aftershave lotion and we have the gallon cologne. <laughs> Already loaded. Uh, uh, my gray dog, hope Steve's doing well. I have not seen him on the forums or anything for a while. And I hope he's just taking a break and uh, he's still doing well health wise. Anyway, Coca Bola Wood. Thank you, Steve, gray dog. Thinking of them every time I use one of the brushes I have from them. I chose this one because Joao was just, you know, clamoring, just wanted me to use a synthetic again. <clears throat> he doesn't like it when I use a boar brush, so there you go, Joao. Not getting the best lather today, probably because I had it sitting there. Loaded the brush and had it sitting. <clears throat> Fiddling, getting things together. But nonetheless, Bedford Safety Razor. So it just took a second to figure out the angle and what not to, how I wanted the head and blade engaging my face and how I had to hold the handle to do that. Obviously a very narrow handle, small diameter wise. Has some audible <clears throat> feedback. I assume you can hear, but it's comfortable. We'll see uh, how close it's getting.
some cold temperatures hitting everybody. <clears throat> I think I was reading that. <clears throat> excuse me. I think I was reading that uh, 25 states have a freeze warning in effect. We actually had some snow uh, flurry and just kind of a dusting, but it didn't last. I think it was the high of 45 yesterday, so it obviously melted off. <clears throat> but that's a little crazy for the middle of October here. And again, crazy seems to be the norm for weather lately. I think they're calling for in Kentucky. Uh, uh, I can't keep them straight. El Nino and El... El Wado. <laughs> anyway, we're supposed to be getting um, wetter than usual winter, but not necessarily snow because it's supposed to be warmer than usual. Which sounds very vague to me. We'll see what happens. I mean, I understand what they're saying, but it kind of leaves them open to whatever happens. They'll say, well, we warned you. <laughs> So, the shave with the razor, I'll finish my thought, honestly, I know I do that a lot, sorry, I'll start and then I'm focusing on the shave and then pick up the thought. The uh, shave is comfortable, maintain the angle. It's not hard, but you do get the sense that you need to pay attention. <clears throat> I'm just glad because when I when I ordered this, I'd never seen one like I said before. And I thought, I wonder if you can actually get a uh, modern blade to work in it. That's that's the question you always have when you see one you've never uh, seen before or don't know anything about on eBay. It's a vintage razor. It's like, well, that's cool. I'd like to get it, but, I mean, could I use it? Because, well, I have a lot of razors, and I did a video recently, well, two videos. I'll explain that. Showing... Uh, a bunch of the vintage razors that I have. Um, I use all of the ones I have. I don't collect them per se just to have them to display or anything because they're not displayed really. It took a lot to get everything just laid out on uh, a bed and uh, <clears throat> to do it. So I filmed it and I looked at it and I thought it had it flipped sideways, the, the video. And I thought, are you kidding me after all that? I uh, did a five minute one and I thought, well, let me do a short one. Supposedly if it's uh, less than, if it's like 60 seconds or less, it becomes a YouTube short, I thought. So I did a real quick one. I made sure I held it the right uh, way. And of course it didn't make it a short. It's with the other videos and it's exactly one minute. And I got some comments on each of them. So I'm like hesitant to delete it. 
whereas I probably delete it and just keep the five minute one since it turned out on the five minute one. Um, I name each of the razors as I'm going through and a little slower so that you can see them. And if there's one you see you'd like me to use, by all means, let me know. I've already had someone mention uh, the green uh, Ender Speed Shaver and the F-Type that I had uh, replated fairly recent. Here's our against the green. So you never know though. <laughs> Back to what I started to say. Um, you never know, am I gonna be able to actually use that razor? And I thought, you know what, that one's interesting enough. If I can get it cheap enough, I'm gonna get it. And see what will happen. And sure enough, with a Dremel, I was able to uh, Get that blade just for what we needed to be able to use it. So it takes a little fiddling, but I think it's worth it. is if you have your technique down angle and pressure you can shave with any of these razors that were produced Except for straight razors. I have shaved with them. I can shave with them. It's just not an enjoyable shave for me. And I admire those that, uh, that do and seem to do so efficiently, such as uh, Josh. That uh, comes to mind, shooting the shave. He wields his very well. All right, let's get a rinse here. Looking for the towels on the other side of the door when I close it. So there you have it. Oh, still got soap on me no matter what. Should have just used a washcloth like I normally do. Anyway, there you have the Bedford razor. Open comb, nice, uh, mild but efficient, very efficient shade, it feels like. We'll see how the longevity is on it. Mm. And we'll hit it with some. Eucalyptino 70. Basic, basically 70% uh, alcohol uh, with eucalyptus oil. May have a little menthol in there too, I don't know, but nice scent to it. A nice witch hazel product. And we'll hit it with our, our root Fabergé. Let me shake that because it's sat a while. Always have to hold on to the badge with your thumb when you shake it. And there is no restrictor on this thing. They didn't do that back then. Things were cheaper and they wanted to use it up so they could sell you more. So shout out to Buki. Boki? Buki? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. But he's over on uh, DFS. He used this holy cow yesterday, 
had me thinking about it and I was like, yeah, I need to get that out. I've been thinking about it uh, for a little while that I wanted to and I keep forgetting to. And so nice reminder. Appreciate that. Uh, I'll hit it with the cologne later. It has an even bigger restrictor, believe it or not. No, it's actually the restrictor. is almost the same size as that little one. The small bottle, but it is literally a gallon. Um, nearly a gallon. What's it say? 25.6 ounces cologne. I'll never get through it all. Anyway, Dave in Kentucky. Hope you enjoyed that razor. Like I said, check out the video on some of the razors I have. Someone had asked me to take a picture one time, and I was like, let me just do a video of kind of the ones that are accessible. I've got a ton more that are in drawers and boxes uh, that I need to sort through. But you see one you want me to use? Let me know. Post in the comments down below or over on that video, and I'll get the notification. Uh, appreciate those subscribing. Um, hit the like if you want to. If you don't want to, don't hit that like button. Anyway, be kind, be safe out there, and we'll see you on the pages.